Limit is a point or level beyond which something does not or may not extend or pass. Sometimes we can't work something out directly, but we can see what it should be as we get closer and closer. Problem 18 is a limit of square root of x plus 7 minus 3 divided by x minus 2 when x approaches to 2. You want to get rid of the square root of the top. To do this, you have to multiply both the top and the bottom by its conjugate, which in this case is square root of x plus 7 plus 3. You now start multiplying. In this case, square root of x plus 7 times square root of x plus 7 will make the square root cancel, leaving you with x plus 7, and negative 3 times positive 3 will give you a negative 9. On the bottom, you just multiply x minus 2 by square root of x plus 7 plus 3. After subtracting everything from the top, you will have x minus 2 over x minus 2 times square root of x plus 7 plus 3. In here, you cancel x minus 2 because you have it both on the top and on the bottom. So what you have left is 1 over square root of x plus 7 plus 3. The next step is to substitute your x's, which in this case is x when it approaches to 2. So you have 1 over square root of 2 plus 7 plus 3, which simplified is 1 over square root of 9 plus 3. As we all know, the square root of 9 is 3, so you have 1 over 3 plus 3, which equals 1 over 6. This means that the limit of square root of x plus 7 minus 3 over square root of x minus 2 when x approaches to 2 is 1 sixth. The derivative is a way to represent rate of change, that is, the amount which a function is changing at one given point. For functions, the act on the real numbers, it is the slope of a tangent line in at the point of on a graph. Finding derivatives by definition. First, you have to write down the formula to avoid any mistakes. After this, you have to rewrite the equation you were given based on the formula. Now simplify the equation. Eliminate anything that is possible, for example, in this equation would be 2x cubed with negative 2x cubed, x squared with negative x squared, 5x with negative 5x, and finally 7 with negative 7. Take out the h, which is a common factor, then it will eliminate with the h that is dividing. Replace all the h's with a zero to get the final equation. After this, rewrite what you got and this will be the derivative. 